working. Testing, testing, one, one two, three. One, you two. look like you're ready for a quest. Let's do this, guys. Oh, yeah. It's ready to see some plants. It's still burping from its old. Absolutely beautiful. So, springtime's coming, so lots of nice blooms and uh, plants are loving it. They're growing, so doing pretty well as far as I can tell. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's looking good in here. Yeah? You got the little... Wait, do these guys, did you make seed on these? Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. They're challenging, but I, I don't even know what they're supposed to look like, so I think you're supposed to dig into the plant. So this is the little mam section, Ooh. and Ooh. you got all the... Is this, this is, which one is this one here? All right, I think there's one that's Bocasana and one that's Albicoma and one that's um, something else altogether. So these are three different ones? I believe so, yeah, from uh, from what I was told anyways. But, you know, I like to throw away the tags, so it's it kind of, I'm relying on my on my uh, memory for those. And sometimes Oh it, my gosh, dude. Is, yeah, this one is fun. Woo. So the hardier the better, obviously, because I would like to I would like to rest right here and just like smoke a joint, you know, and lay back and like read, you know, read a book or something and have some like music playing in the background. It seems like a nice spot to relax. Yep. Yeah, I wonder if you can make actually like I was thinking about this. Just kinda like you know. Is that it. like a I mean I, you could you could probably make clothes out of that if you collect enough, you know. Make well, whole area t shirt. Well, I mean same with Areocarpus. I was thinking about that just yesterday. I was uh I was I was just thinking I was like, man, so much stuff was coming off of them. And I was like, you could really like pick it off on purpose yeah. and, and maybe like make like uh something out of it, you know, it'd be kinda interesting. Put it in a baggie. Oh, oh my god. So yeah, a little copia boa section there. So now did these come back in? They did. Okay, uh, I was gonna. Yeah. I was gonna say. I, I felt like. Out, yeah, for the rain. Yeah. When I when I can get the rain, Ooh. I'll get the rain, and then I bring them back in. God, there's so many pretty ones. Yeah, they they do tend to. Um, they have brighter colors when they're in the greenhouse. Oof! Like, look at that, dude. So like, comparatively, this is a much more geometric, like geometric tubercles you know on some yeah. of these yeah and then some of them are like more ribbed and less pronounced tubercles where these are just like almost they almost almost looks like a thelo cactus the way uh -huh. the tubercles are yeah that one especially oh this one too, yeah this guy dude and he's like the flat. fat finger i call it the fat finger because it kind of looks like those chubby fingers gosh so pretty Whew. oh i'm multi so i have i have this weird tendency whenever I like a plant I get a lot of it yeah the same over and over so my collection isn't as diverse as I'd like it to be but uh, but if you're asking me for copia puas or in multi as I haven't <laughs> good good I mean it just it's, uh, the lighting in your greenhouse is fantastic and you've got yeah. shade cloth up there too I never really paid attention to it to be honest with you I had to put it up because it was just getting pounded um, there's no sh you know any natural shade no trees uh, from a to Z are getting sun here, so in Escondido it doesn't pay off. Um, and a lot of the plants were suffering, so I added that and it seems to be doing better. Uh, even during summer, I'll add another one because this is west, and so you know, mid you know, mid to late afternoon it gets really hot. Yeah. So how long have you been collecting plants? How long? It's gonna be about what? I would say seven six seven years eight years okay it's kind of it, it really truly like um i guess seriously since 2016 uh before that i had a, just a few cacti that i was you know keeping with my my uh, different moves from places to places but now that we got our house with our backyard that's when it really got out of hand as you can tell uh, yeah it, it seems like a lot of plants for just a few years and, and it is frankly <laughs> yeah well you know what though it's a it's a rabbit hole and you know, I think for the for the for the people watching, you know, that may follow you on Instagram and stuff, it's kind of for me. It was sort of I told you this already that it was sort of surreal to to end up coming and getting to know you because I remember showing my wife 
pictures of your greenhouse uh -huh. and saying like man look at this wouldn't this be so cool because at the time i was like moving my plants from where they were to the garage whenever it rained and all this kind of stuff too you know I, I didn't i probably could have let a lot of them get a lot of that rain in hindsight you know but i didn't know and i was a little more you know you just nervous i wanted to make really sure out. i didn't kill them you know and uh your greenhouse was one of the greenhouses that really kind of inspired me to get one yeah so hey. it's pretty cool you know, I, I just kind of started with a shade cloth, and this was like, a, what do you call those? Like, not a gazebo, but one of those uh, pergola. Thing. Yeah, a pergola. Yeah, it was yeah. it was there when we moved in, and it was all you know, kind of falling apart. And I was like, well, this will be a good start. It already has the post stuff, so I started just putting a shade cloth over it, and uh, eventually that wasn't enough. It was too dark in there, so I was like, you know, what? I'll just I'll just add something over it. I'll just put a roof. So I built the roof. And then I, I got the whole entire family to help out. And one day we even have a video of this actually. It's kind of cool where the whole family, the kids, everyone's kind of like trying to scramble <laughs> to get awesome. that over. And then we just kind of slid it over. And uh, ever since, you know, it, first of all, it gave it, you know, a, a whole better feel because now you get that nice light coming in and, you know, kind of more even light. And, um, and then uh, that was it. That was the start of our greenhouse. And of course, when we shared it on Instagram, this is so cute this is so cool and you know uh we we got the feedback and it was all just from kind of going along as the collection went you know yeah and you dude i mean you got great taste in plants and your your sense for arranging them and putting them all together i mean it's just thank you yeah it's 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 uh That's very fun. tastefully assembled and you know it's, oh my it's look funny at because I, I kind of uh, the, the graph brew, yeah. so i got it on i have it on graph now Yours, the one you gave me got just butchered into a million pieces and uh, it's got like five heads coming off of it. So yeah. I'm really excited it's about it. It's in good hands, let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one's fun and it's not grafted and it looks it looks fantastic for now. It, um... Oh yeah. And you got some seedlings over here, bulging out of the pots. Yep, I'm just gonna push it as long as I can. No repot until they really need it, but they seem to like it better that way, so. I repotted a bunch of mine where they're really small and I'm gonna kind of see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just to, just to kind of see, um, I had one grower that I was talking to, this is it seems gorgeous, to slow down dude. To me whenever I put it. Is that Enormous Fruticosa? Enormous Fruticosa, yep. That is really pretty, pretty dude. Mm. Yeah. Anything it Enormous, it does. Right? Yeah. yeah, it looks rubbery, kind of. Like it would be like that smooth kind of rubber that's on the grip of uh -huh. something, you know? That's and cool. right next to it is this the variegated. variegated version. So it was outside, kind it's, of not kept track, but now it looks really good. Like this upper part, since it's been in the greenhouse, yeah. looks beautiful and it's growing this harm. So Fruticose fun. is actually a pretty euphorbia that is hilariously like not thought of as a nice euphorbia. You know, like it's used as grafting stock. And I mean, dude, that's as it, as it gets as it matures, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, when it starts to branch out and stuff, and then when it's in bloom, I mean, as it is yeah. now, you know, it just is. And they stay compact, which is kind of nice, especially in a collection, because you can have it on the table. It doesn't get out of hand. So, oh, yeah. what is that? Well, a that's quest a vessel. Some guy gave me. I'm not. I'm not sure what to do with it. You know, oh. I might sell it on the market. Cause, you know, <laughs> I've heard they're paying good price for it. So. <laughs> oh man. No, I just gotta pick the right plant. We'll see. What do we have here? Shout out to Succulent Syndrome and Zarek Tings and Automata and Rome. Everybody on here, Baker, Big Cactus, Sunburn. Bigger Copiapoas and uh, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. I kind of go mm -hmm. back and forth wanting to uh, put things by, you know, species. And then sometimes I, I kind of like the mix. I think the mix looks really shows the, 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 the diversity. diversity and the, yeah. And, the, and, and that's what I love, you know, so I, I kind of cave keep the euphorbias there but even then i throw euphorbia in there because they're just so cool it's they... nice to keep them kind of generally clustered what i've done is i've sort of i have them generally you have more plants than me in your greenhouse but i mean mine are generally clustered by genera or species or whatever but then i do have other things elsewhere like just to sort of mix it up and like you said to show some of that some of that di diversity so yeah that's awesome these are all your seedlings yep yeah uh i have uh, although i have some that are from matt those are his uh, my are the Azeltonianas. That's all I could get my hands on. About how old are they? Those are about a year old. Okay. That's yep. a nice one there. Nice. That's my favorite trichus here. Seed grown Chiloensis a la Julian. Super nice and notchy, yeah. Very nice, dude. It's got beautiful spines.